Hi friends, I am Dr. Ashutosh Gupta. I am a consultant in fetal medicine. So I practice this fetal medicine, fetal maternal medicine, right? Okay. So meaning thereby that there are there are few conditions which can endanger the life of both the fetus and the mother. Right? Thrombophilia is one of the one of the commonest reasons. Thrombophilia meaning thereby there is a tendency uh, for the mother to have a blood clotting. So thrombosis बनने की जो possibility जो जो tendency है वो थोड़ी सी बढ़ जाती है. The conditions can be acquired or inherited, right? Usually, usually ये baby को ही नुकसान देती है और जो जो माँ से जो blood blood vessels बननी होती हैं वो usually कम बनती हैं जो बनती हैं वो सब clot हो जाती हैं तो baby को ही नुकसान होता है. तो एक ऐसी कंडीशन है जिसमें कि हमने ये देखा कि बेबी बीइंग नॉर्मल और विद इन अ नॉर्मल रेंज लेकिन माँ को मतलब मदर्स लाइफ इज इन डेंजर राइट तो मैं इस एग्जांपल से आपको ये बता देता हूँ कि दैट हाउ दिस फीटल मेडिसिन हेल्प्स सेल्वेज द लाइफ ऑफ द मदर This is one case in which this lady has come uh, for a level two at 19 weeks and four days, right? So the baby being normal outrightly, the baby was showing a growth lag of something around 10 days, and uh, uh, but then what what was clinching and what was astonishing was this placenta megaly. So this huge placenta was there and it was covering the the whole, almost all of the uterine cavity and. Uh, it was of something around 7 cm so definitely placenta megaly was there and it was reaching and covering the internal loss right but uh, this was the astonishing element that was the intraplacental side of the placenta the fetal, fetal side of the placenta hai. here we have had an, this heterogeneous lesion which we suspected to be intra, uh, intraplacental bleed right so this was uh, this was covering all together all of the uterine cavity starting from the right side and going up to the all together into the left side of the uterine cavity right and this was almost of this was heterogeneous suspected to be a blood collection and it was the the, the, the thickness was something around 7 centimeters right it was all occupying the uh, the 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 uterine cavity and pressing onto the baby uh, the baby looks good uh, there was no structural abnormality to the baby then we inquired regarding some sort of an anemia to the mother so then it was being told that the, 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 that the pregnant lady had started with hemoglobin of something around 11 by the time uh, when we were doing this uh, ultrasound the hemoglobin has dropped down to 8 so meaning thereby that we were on the right track of suspecting that this was an intra uh, placental bleed and therefore the baby and therefore the mother is losing the blood Right, so that made an exigency of uh, uh, delivering or or to uh, to to discontinue the pregnancy and to counsel her that probably her mother is her 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 or the, or the mother's life is in danger. So when we induced this uh, lady and uh, and and when the placenta was being uh, sort of an expelled. So we identified that there was a huge amount of an intraplacental bleed surrounding the whole of the surface of the placenta and it looked like this only. So we had started from 11 gram, it went to when we did the ultrasound it was an 8 gram, when she delivered the placenta it was a 6 gram so she was losing blood like anything. So this was the placenta after the after we had discontinued with the pregnancy. So this is the huge collection of the blood, all surrounding into the intraplacental side of the um, uh, placenta, right? So usually the thrombophilias they can lead to some thrombosis in which we can have an APH, we can have an uh, um, retroplacental hematoma. But instead of having a retroplacental hematoma, this was a placent, this was a placental bleed onto the fetal side of the placenta, and it was a huge, huge bleeding. So we had started from 11 antenatal period at the, at, at the time when when we when we were doing the ultrasound, it was 8. When we in a in a in a matter of days or so. Uh, she bled something around 2 liters of uh, blood and therefore the hemoglobin when she delivered the baby was something around 6. So meaning thereby that the timely diagnosis of this uh, sort of an intraplacental bleed onto the placental side of the fetal side of the placenta and uh, it was really uh, the patients they were being counseled and then they agreed that probably this is something that probably uh, uh, expedited and we need to sort of an take an irreversible decision regarding the pregnancy so so meaning thereby that all these things they they were dealt with in a very very 
professional manner and we could salvage the 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 life of the mother she actually underwent a six units of blood transfusion but ultimately we were able to salvage her life and she went home happily right thank you very much for your patient listening